Hello everyone. Thank you for joining this talk. I have planned to build a series about cloud solution architecture. What this role means and what is expected in this role. My name is Riju and I work for Microsoft. I've spent around five years in this role and I gained certain amount of experience, but that's not the ultimate knowledge which I have. So there are many different other companies who have this similar role with a different portfolio. So it is not the only thing which I'm going to talk about. It is one of the things which you might need to encounter with. So I'm basically sharing my experience. Unlike my technical uh, presentations, this is sort of like an autobiographical. Uh, you can consider that. So in this series, I will create short videos about cloud solution architect, what my experience uh, being here for five years in this role, what is expected out of me and what I see other colleagues are doing in the same organization. So I'll build a short one. So in this, we'll talk about what is expected in this role. So I picked up really three things which are absolutely important um, to have this cloud solution architect role uh, working for you so the first thing is that you you need to be comfortable in ambiguous situation situations which is not well defined situations which you have no idea about and that's when the experience matters i wanted to give this idea with the background i put it in this slide it's an intentional background i chose from the template which gives me a view of a sea beach and it's a rocky sea beach a little bit of sand and then water it's a beautiful picture but if you look into that from the far away you try to perceive this picture based on your experience so you have to have been to this kind of beaches before you know how uh, um, how that beach may look like whether you will be able to um, walk around in a bare feet or you need to protect yourself all these things so you kind of have that perception so cloud solution architect role is like that so you fall into a situation you see some information you have some amount of information not everything but you try to build up from there that's the ambiguous situation and that's where your experience really helps you build up that now definitely you will explore more dig into it go into the into the field and understand a bit more in detail but that will come later point in time now the second thing which is um important is a can-do mentality now let's suppose i am a no swimmer uh, and i get into this uh, sea and somebody asks me to swim i definitely i cannot say can do but i should be able to pick it up from there and train myself on swimming if that time permits or get somebody who can swim on behalf of me and to fulfill the task right so the can do not necessarily has to be done by you as an individual. You should be a person to be able to help your customer solve their problem, either involving yourself or involving the experts on that same area. So the can do doesn't really enforce this an idea of you have to do everything, right? So, but you should be able to really pick it up from there and take it forward from, from that situation. And then the sec third one, the last one is empathy. So you may be working in a top number one technology company in the world today, and they have built a massive public cloud infrastructure. They're expert in the cloud technology. They have been providing the online services for many, many years. But when you work with a customer, they may not come from the IT uh, or infrastructure or let's say that's not their core business. The information technology is not their core business. They're into some other business. Maybe it's a healthcare, maybe it's a retail, maybe it's an oil and energy, maybe it's something else. You never know. IT or information technology is just the enabler for them. So you don't expect them to be, let's say, as agile as you are in the infrastructure technology because you are not agile in their domain, because you have not worked on that. So like you 
don't feel comfortable in their domain they also don't feel comfortable in their in the infrastructure or information technology domain right so accept that fact that it is just an enabler so you might need to understand their business problem challenges what if kind of situation there might be a lot of skeptical um, discussions happening in the in the room inside the room all of the points are really really valid you don't need to be judgmental about anything right because it is the people who are talking when people are talking you can take it as the blessing because they are talking because they feel that it is comfortable to talk with you so accept that fact adopt it understand and then suggest something so don't ever be judgmental on anything especially if it is coming from your customer and i have seen that larger companies who build cloud uh, cloud public cloud also listen to the customer to understand their business and change in their uh, internal system based on the customer need because we learn from each other if we don't or if we stop learning from each other we'll stop growing and we need to be very very open for that so thank you very much i want to end my first uh, part with this much information and i'll come back with much more in detail about technology and about the division uh, mostly around the play work i do and the role i need to play with thank you very much and have a wonderful day